This is a quick demo to show uh, problems with surprise removal using Arduino boards. Here the first test will be with this board, the Arduino Uno, uh, which can be purchased on Amazon or any number of online merchants. And uh, I've got this code that I'll be uploading, which just prints uh, to the serial port an incrementing number and blinks the LED each time. Very simple program. We'll select uh, Arduino Uno in the uh, menu and we'll select the serial port which is COM11 and here in the device manager there is Arduino Uno it's been detected so we'll just upload the code this takes a moment and then when we open the serial monitor we should see the incrementing count there it is it's working fine you can open the serial monitor again it will restart each time now if I unplug the Arduino Uno while this is running you can see there in the device manager it's gone away now if I plug it back in here it has redetected the Arduino Uno it's still COM11 if I close this window and try to open again it's not available the serial port is not show is not detectable by the software even though it's shown over here in the device manager the software can't see it so let's try this test again with this Arduino board an older model the Demula Nova it uses a different USB converter chip with a different driver it uses the FTDI chip so let's uh, come over here into the menu and select the Demula Nova and here it has been it's been detected it's COM12 so we'll select the port as COM12 here upload the code again takes a moment to recompile you can see the LEDs blinking on the device as it's uploading now when we run the serial monitor we should see the counting now this device if I unplug while it's counting it's been unplugged and now if I reconnect we'll see it appears in the device monitor again now if I close this window and open again it counts correctly because this device detected surprise removal correctly and uh, and allows the driver to continue working when we try to access it again so these were the steps uh, you upload the program to the Arduino clicking this button here after the upload completes you open the serial monitor then to produce the problem you uh, verify that it's in the device manager while the serial monitor is open and collecting data you physically unplug the USB cable like this you can see the device goes away you can see the uh, software is printing error messages then plug the cable back in when the device is redetected properly in the device manager you close the window reopen the serial monitor with the Demula Nova board which is based on the FTDI chip it uh, correctly starts counting again so just to verify that this is not the Arduino software I'll try this again I'll disconnect the Demula Nova and reconnect the Uno the Uno board has uh, uses uh, a driver that was written by the or that uses the uh, built-in inbox driver. So here I have cool term. If I run cool term, click connect, it will connect to the only serial port, and there we see the counts. Now over here in the ports, we see that it's correctly detected. If I disconnect while it's running, just physically unplug the cable, we can see that. We can see that it's uh, it's gone from the device manager. Plug it back in. Here we can see in the device manager it's been redetected. If I try to disconnect and then reconnect, no serial ports found. And I can quit cool term and run it again, and no ports found. So both cool term and Arduino have the same problem. They cannot see the device. They cannot connect to it, even though it's appeared correctly in the device manager. Let's take a look at the device manager info for the Arduino Uno so that all of the information is available. 
it's uh, here's the page about the driver and here is the details tab and uh, can I scroll down and select each of these there's the uh, service that it's using and hopefully all of these individual pieces of information will appear readable and legible in the video this is while it's in the state where it wasn't detected so I'm just slowly tapping through each of these pieces of information in the properties it's, uh, unfortunately you can't see these all on one page so I have to slowly go through them all again it looks like it's the end so hopefully that's enough information about what this Arduino driver what driver this is using let me unplug the Uno again reconnect the Gemula Nova board which did work correctly which does not exhibit the problem and again document the driver that it's using here's the information we we'll go over to the details tab and if I scroll down one at a time we can see all of the individual properties and in this hopefully these again come through in this video so you can see all of the appropriate information about the FTDI so that no detail is left no stone is left unturned here getting all of the properties into this video hopefully we'll get to the end of this page in a moment sorry if this is a there we go and last but not least here's the information about the uh, computer I'm running this on Windows 7 Service Pack 1 uh, I don't know if any of this is relevant or not but trying to get uh, as complete information as I can hopefully that uh, hopefully that's enough I'm uh... oh I guess I have to change my color scheme to improve performance I don't need that let's conclude this video thanks for watching